everybody, it's Janae and I am here with a video talking about how much I hate men and why I hate men. I have a couple little stories to tell you about some of the shit that's happened to me like with disgusting men. And hopefully once you guys like listen to these stories, I was telling somebody like something that happened to me and like what men like say to me and stuff, like this guy. And he was like, what the heck, that's so weird. I'm like, listen. Men need to talk to each other about what is appropriate and what is not appropriate to do and say to women because like some of you are fine, most of you are like literally fucking clueless and stupid and very very scary. We're gonna start with stories about like times when I've been out and about and also P.S. <laughs> I'm literally like wheezing right now like I can't breathe because I've gained like 20 pounds guys, not 20, I've gained like, like 15 pounds. I've gotten so big I don't know how but it's okay I just want us to know guys that's why I'm breathing so hard because I'm a fat bitch so one of the things I really fucking hate that men do is talk to me in public I'm really really sorry but please don't like it's one thing to come up to me at like a bar or at like or a club or something but when I'm just out trying to do my goddamn grocery shopping I really don't want to talk to anybody let alone men I was out grocery shopping and I walked to the store because I don't have a car so I walked my happy fat ass to the store and like one of the first things that happens to me is this guy like comments on my height he's like oh you're so tall if you get any taller you're gonna touch the ceiling and this is me that's my literal face because I literally I don't know what to say like don't talk like stop talking Another time I was harassed by a man in public. This always happens like when I'm walking because I don't have a car and so when I'm fucking walking places there's always gotta be somebody to harass me, always. I was walking back from my friend's house. It was fucking scalding hot. I was drunk. I was full and uh, there was a concert going on. I told you guys I live like right next to a concert like stage and I was walking home and a um, this guy like comes up to me like won't runs across the street to talk to me and he's like oh do you need some tickets for the show i'm like no thanks he's like oh what kind of music do you like blah 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 and he like keeps like trying to talk to me i know he's like trying to do business or something but it's still like creepy and so finally i'm like i stop walking and i turn around and i'm like can you please leave me alone and he's like wow that's funny what is so funny about a girl not wanting to be harassed walking to her home? Like, I'm obviously not headed to a concert. The concert was for like some sort of honky tonk fucking confederate flag ass heaven. <laughs> I, I don't know who it was, like Rascal Flats or something, I don't know. But obviously I'm not going to that shit. Like, it made me really mad and it made me mad that he like reacted that way to me saying leave me alone. That's why women don't like tell men no and tell men to stop talking to us and stuff like that because you guys are going to react in a way that is kind of off-putting. Another time when I was fucking walking home, it was literally like 90 degrees out. I had a bunch of fucking groceries. It was so hot. I was like halfway home. And this fucking guy like drives past me and I'm like okay and then he ends up doing a u-turn in the street and comes up to me like we don't have sidewalks <laughs> because Charlotte North Carolina is not a place to like live if you don't have a car like walking places in North Carolina is not easy okay so I'm walking on the grass and he like turns over into the grass like literally this close to me and so I continue walking trying to keep my cool and I look at him and he's got the window down and I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> like, and he's like, I'm okay. I was just about to ask you the same thing, bae. I was like, leave me alone! Please don't come up to women who are all by themselves walking to their home and harass them and try and make them like get into your car. Like, I, he could have been nicely like, trying to ask me for a ride, but then he calls me Bay, and that's like horrible. Like, don't call me Bay. I'm not your Bay. I will never be your Bay. I'm a random girl <laughs> trying to just get home. Like, I'm telling you guys, it was 90 degrees out. This is a mile from my house, but I would literally walk a mile in 90 degree heat, then get in a car with a strange fucking man who's gonna drop me off at the place where I live so he knows where my house is. Like, that's a little bit scary. I don't live in a house, I live in an apartment. 
another thing that happened to me one time i've been trying to fucking tell this story for so long but i never know exactly how to tell it to make it more entertaining so i thought i would include it here i was in high school and i lived in a house where the neighborhood had like a creek uh is a creek or a lake or a pond i think it was a creek so me and my stepsister were both 16 and we go down to the creek blah 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 it's all fine suddenly i see a snake and that is like a bad omen i look up from the snake and there is a old strange there's a strange old man like just appears out of nowhere my stepsister is terrified so i have to be the one to like somehow get us out of the situation and make everything calm so that neither of us get abducted or raped you know like please stop going up to women when they're all by themselves like there was nobody at this creek so like there was no witnesses or anything like that's so scary guys this guy's like white probably like 50 60 years old coming up to these two girls who are all by themselves he's talking to us about his job he's talking to us about how he was in like the cia or something um and he like looks at my my stepsister and he's like she's so scared of me isn't she and i'm just like trying to laugh it off trying I'm trying to keep him like somewhat entertained enough to not kill us. Finally, I get like my phone out of my purse. This is back when we had keyboards on our phones. Remember that guys? <laughs> and I like go behind my back and text my stepmom, my stepsister's mom, and like try and call her and text her so she knows that we are in a bad situation and that we need to be picked up from this place because this literally like probably went on for about 10 minutes he finally like just walked away but my dad like found out from my stepmom and he was so livid like he was screeching through the neighborhood like came to pick us up in his truck like we tried to look we tried to like drive around and look around for him but he was nowhere to be found but like that shit is so fucking scary like so scary <laughs> if i could tell you guys everybody who was watching i don't care if you're a girl tell your boyfriend tell your brother tell your dad tell your grandpa tell everybody you fucking know if you're a boy tell your boyfriends do not go up to women who are all alone okay that was my video <laughs> that's all i really have to say i think men are disgusting i'm taking a break from them for the rest of the year because i'm sick and my dildo will be my only friend for the next how many more months are left five months <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. I wish I was a